Hi friends, this is Prasad. You are watching Power BI with Prasad. Today again, I come up with a new real-time scenario, which was asked by our one of our subscriber. So let me explain what we are, uh, what we required. Okay, in this particular scenario, so how to show number of students attended in number of projects? People get confused over here by this question. So let me explain you in brief what is the question. Here I do have, let me show that I do have okay, the project names and the students who attended in the projects, right? And the requirement is to show number of students attended in number of projects. It's not like project-wise students. If it is project-wise students, we can make it very easy, but it's not like that. It's like project-wise students. How many people attended in one project? How many people attended in two projects? How many people attended in three projects like that? How many people attended in four, five, or whatever it might be? This is how we want to like do this. Again, somewhat advanced things, somewhat advanced uh, um, settings and options where we need to show the people who attended one, two, three, and four. And after that, the people who attended more than four all together need to show in another column, which is like more column. So we'll see first of all how to achieve this scenario. And after that, we'll see how can we uh, implement advanced things uh, uh, like the top four projects and others like this, whatever it might be. Go ahead and then we'll see uh, the scenario. Before going into the solution, a small intro. Uh, we uh, teach Power BA plus SQL batches and also real-time project batches. Anybody interested in our teaching and wanted to join with us to learn more Power BA, DAX, a lot of other things, just uh, call this number and then uh, you can contact us for more details. Please try to join our Telegram channel for more updates on uh, Power BA things. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed, Power BA with Prasad. Try to subscribe uh, my Telegram channel so that you'll get a lot of material, a uh, lot of, lot of uh, regarding Power BA. Uh, recruitments and then like referrals, if any, a lot of things we'll get. This uh, uh, the link will be in the description. Please try to get joined in that Telegram group. Again, we'll go into our uh, scenario first of all. How to achieve this? The first thing is like okay, we'll go and see the data. This is my data, right? All the project names and students who attended that particular projects. That's fine. First of all, we need to go and create go for transfer transformation. Then oh, hope you people are able to see my screen right now which is, we, I came to like Power Query Editor. Then I just duplicated the table. Uh, earlier I used to have only one table, I duplicated the table. How to duplicate? Just simply right click. For your sake, I'm going to duplicate it again. So duplicate. So obviously you'll have table, the duplicated table. Once you get that one, you can rename the table. So again, I'll make it like um, table three. It, okay, just a minute. Table three, I'll make it like this. And right now, what you need to do is you need to group by by student name, not by the project name. Go for student name and go for group by create a column, right? Student name, and the new column is like. Uh, Number of okay, or else okay, we'll make it like project count, and then the operation should be like count of rows. Then click okay, you'll get a table like this where okay, you'll find uh, uh, the student names and then how many projects has they attended. Don't get confused, I'm doing it in the right way. So, uh, again, this is not our way to uh, achieve the answer. So this is not the uh, uh, final decision, final thing that we achieved, that we want to achieve. There is something else that we need to do. 
this is the student name and then how many projects that they attended right once okay if you got this table then you can just close and apply so you'll get those tables into your power query let's give it a second so let it get done same table that i've been created already like table two so how it looks like it looks like this same thing right now if you drop this and then this again like okay if you drop this and then if you drop this again that is completely error so how we will get that one so i'll go for another table and then i'll show you how it happens if you make it by students and then like student names and number of students it will be like completely like hp 806 products not this is not our answer that we are looking for again what is that that you want to do the simple trick over here is you need to make it in the reverse way how you need to do it so go over here and take it the project count and then take it the student name where it comes into x axis Again, yeah, the same way I hope I got it. So let me take it in this way. Like I'll take this count in the y x axis, and then I'll do the students in y axis, which converts into like count of the thing. So right now you can see in for, uh, people who attended one project, count of people, count of students who attended in one project, three people, the count of people who attended in two projects, three people, the count of people who attended in three projects. It's only one people attended three projects. If you want to see, you can go ahead and then see the data over here. People who attended three projects, only one. Make it in this way so that hope you can make it understanding. Uh, maybe somewhere else. Let me search that one. Rohit, only Rohit attended three projects. Rohit attended three projects. No other people attended three projects. Only one is something different, 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 four, five, six, like that. So obviously, this is how to achieve that one. Small, simple trick, but people get confused over here. Again, this is some part of the requirement, how to achieve the next part. I got like number of uh, projects and then attended people. So uh, the people who attended one project, the people who attended two projects, the students who attended three projects, the students who attended four projects. Okay, this is where, again, if you want to like make it something looks good, then you can go for okay data levels and then you can see how many people attended that particular project. That's fine. But here we want to show only up to four projects and all other people, all people who attended more than four projects need to be in more column. The column, with the name of more, how we shown in the very first thing. So here, I will show this. So this is what I've been shown till now. Okay, how, this is how we achieved that one. And this is what we needed. And this is also, this, this doesn't, uh, we don't want this one. And then again, we don't want this one also. Student wise, okay, how many projects that they attended? No, not like this. We are not even like uh, project wise attended people. How many people attended in this project, in this project like this? No, not like that. We want to see, okay, how many people attended one project? How many people attended in two projects? How many people attended in three projects like that? Which of that? Right now, we need to achieve this one. People who attended one project, two project, three project, and four projects, I can I need to show you here. And then people who attended more than four projects all together, I need to show all of them over here in this particular more column. How to do that one? Very simple trick. So go for your table. So your table, whatever it might be. Go for this table and create a column in such a way that I'll go ahead and create a column. We are not on this table, in this table. I'll go for table three. In this column, I want to create a new column. So what is this one? Uh, new column so what will you keep it okay count of projects i 
uh, so I'll make a number of projects. So, number of projects equal to if uh, ha, 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 uh, project count. C-O-U-N-T, this column, this column, project count is greater than, uh, sorry, less than or equal to four. Then I want to show the project count only. The same count I want to show. Else part, I want to show more. Here we are, here, here we are showing a number and then here we are showing a particular string data type. Again, it makes okay error to us. Let me show you what error that you get. So, oh, expression that yields variant data types cannot be used in uh, defined uh, okay, calculated column. So obviously we can't give two different data types in one column. So obviously what we'll do, we'll convert this number. Again, we can't convert this text into like number. So obviously we'll convert this number into text. So we'll convert, so convert, we'll use convert function. And then, okay, we will change this one into string. And close it. So obviously we'll have a new column with text data type. That's fine, no issues. Go here and then like in the new page, right, there, right now I'll just take another uh, uh, table. And then, so what I'll do right now, I'll take this into like X axis number of products, the one that we created right now. Then again, students, okay, count of students. Obviously, but I want to make it ascending by number of projects. So again, make it sort by ascending. The people who admitted one project, three people, you can see three people. So again, let me give it uh, data labels. Five. So right now you can see number of project people, number of people attended one project, number of people attended two projects, the same thing, number of people attended three projects, same thing, number of people attended four projects, the same thing, same number. Then here, the people who attended like more than four projects, more projects. So obviously, people who comes into like five projects, people attended in five projects, people attended in six projects, people attended in seven projects, all together will get clubbed and then you can show them over here. So this is how to achieve this particular scenario. Not even this one, or even, okay, not even this one. We need to make it in this way. And again, after that, you can convert that, okay, using custom column, you can make it as per your requirement. Hope you people like this video, please uh, like it, hit the subscribe button, and then share it if you like it. Once again, if you people really interested to join in my Telegram, uh, like in my Power BI coaching for our Power BI and SQL full, full course batch, and then uh, including job support and a lot of materials, sample resumes, and then a lot of, lot of like interview questions, materials, all we all will provide you. And again, the most important thing is we will explain you how to get more calls. People are feeling that there are no calls, but there are calls. We'll explain you how to get more calls also in this particular job assistance program. Please try to join our um, Power BI training or else real time project training. Again, please join our Telegram channel for more details on Power BI and our okay, materials and questions and a lot of other stuff and our um, uh, batch related information also. The link will be in the description. Okay, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day.